Greetings YouTube. This is a uh, Faceless Man Arts once again with the uh, second part of my Inktober 2019 video. Before I start, I want to give a big shout out to uh, all the people who have supported me on the uh, Art Amino. I'm a big, big believer in uh, Amino after giving it a try. I think no matter what your hobby or skill or passion, there's probably an Amino out there for you. I'm a member of quite a few of the Art Aminos. It would mean a lot if you guys swung by and checked me out. My uh, Amino name is always A Man Has No Name. But without further ado, let's get started with part two of my Inktober 2019. All right, day 10's prompt was pattern. And admittedly, it wasn't my favorite prompt, but I finally came up with something that I kind of liked, which was this witch in a patterned dress with uh, pentagrams in her eyes, pentagram on the floor, candles, little rat holes and dings in the wall. Like I said, definitely not one of my favorite prompts definitely not one of my favorite sketches but it turned out a lot better than i thought it was going to be okay day 11 snow i i really liked this one i liked the idea of snow i figured once i seen the prompt snow that i could have a lot of fun with it there's a lot of things you can do with snow and there's a big wide out of the a big wide shot of it you got this little little ghosty guy hanging out in front of the cabin with the smoke coming out of the chimney it's it, it was really fun to draw and while there's a couple of spots that I might need to touch up that I've missed, I really did have a lot of fun drawing this one. It, it was really interesting. Day 11, snow. All right, day 12 was dragon. This is actually the second one I did for dragon. I did two prompts for dragon, or two sketches for the prompt dragon. But uh, it's just a dragon chick. She's, you know, checking it out, just doing her thing, being a half dragon, half human, or maybe a full dragon in human form. But that is the first, no, sorry, this is the second one I did for Dragon. This was the first. He's a, he's a dude dragon who's holding his little fireball in his hand. He's, you know, giving you the finger, telling you what he thinks about you. I really like that gold and silver ink above his head. It uh, really turned out pretty cool, I think. But, yeah, those were my two uh, sketches that I did for the prompt Dragon. And uh, let's see, Ash. Day 13 was Ash. The prompt for Day 13 was Ash. And uh, I've actually done a painting like this before, but it was a, a girl walking in the rain. I've actually done quite a few of them, acrylic, watercolor. But I decided I kind of wanted to do that same idea, but I took the girl walking in the rain, and I just, you know, put her in this ashy, fiery mess of a city. Maybe the apocalypse happened. Maybe there was a riot. I'm not entirely sure, but there's definitely, definitely something going on. Okay, here we go. Day 14, Overgrown. I spent way more time on this one than I wanted to, considering that it didn't really turn out that great. Uh, a lot of people on the Art Amino seem to like it, but I don't know. It just really wasn't one of my favorite. The kind of the body proportions got all wonky on this side, and I'd already started in with the ink, so there wasn't a whole lot I could do other than redraw it. And, I don't know, I had a lot of stuff going on this day. I wish I'd have done more with her hair. Uh, it just, just doesn't, I don't know, just doesn't captivate me like some of the other sketches I've done this Inktober. It's, I don't know, definitely not one of my favorites. But I finally got it out and got the prompt for it, so I wasn't going to redo it. All right, day 15, Legend. After trying and trying, after about six drawings, I decided to settle on Keanu Reeves. And then... After trying to draw Keanu Reeves like three times, I, I don't. This was the, this was the best attempt I got, I guess. And for this one, I, I didn't use any watercolor or anything other than ink. Actually, I used a uh, one of those precise V5 like rollerball pens, and then I went through with a, a water brush and kind of made that gray gradient into the eyes and nose and all that. But uh. Like I said, I think I missed the mark of capturing Keanu Reeves, but that is indeed who it's supposed to be. Keanu Reeves for day number 15, legend. All right. And for day 16, wild, I just drew this, like, savage, wild chick sitting in her cave, feasting on what I'm assuming to be a human. Like, I don't know. I just drew the bones and gave them some white ink. I didn't really didn't really think about think about it at the moment but now that i look back i guess she's a cannibal but i thought it would be cool if you know not only was she just this wild savage but maybe she was really intelligent you know her cave paintings are all of 
really, really complex mathematical equations, or at least complex for an idiot like me, that, you know, I had to Google and write these down. I, I'm not this smart. I, no. But I really, I do like the fire, and I hope it comes through really good on the video here. I do like how the fire turned out. That one was was definitely amazing, in my opinion, that I was able to get that gradient of color between yellow, orange, and red. I, I was pretty proud of it. But that was day 16, wild. All right, day 17 for ornament. My original intent was to draw a girl on a pirate ship, like, you know, tied to the front of the pirate ship. Like, she was the ornament. They were, I don't know, I guess putting her on display there as an ornament for the pirate ship. But I, after about three times drawing it, just was not pleased with any of them. And I copped out and did the traditional Christmas ornament. The only thing I really like about this one is that gold ink, if it'll, if it'll show up. I really like that gold ink. And I mean, I like the color here, Moon Glow. It's definitely one of my favorite Daniel Smith colors. I don't know if this is going to show up good on camera, but I'm going to try it. And my second favorite Daniel Smith color, this Cascade Green. How it granulates. The way I did these, like, white spots down here in the corner is a uh, salt. I use salt on both the ornament and the background to get some kind of crazy, crazy stuff going on here. But that was a... Uh, Day 17 ornament. And one of my favorite prompts came after this one. So one of my least favorite prompts before one of my favorite prompts, which was Misfit. So I drew the toys from the island of Misfit Toys as the band, the Misfits. You know, I gave them the traditional Misfits hairdo there. I really wish I could have gave this guy the hairdo. Like, but his eyes were just too close together, and there was no way I could draw him. That just made it look right. I did try. And, you know, I did the the pink and the pink spotted elephant there and like the raggedy and the gothic raggedy and doll i guess but i don't know I, I really liked this one i like the way it turned out it's definitely definitely one of my favorite pieces that i've done so far this inktober just i guess i really like the band the misfits so that that probably helps but that was day 18 misfits and okay for day 19 i tried a new type of paper uh, a new type of watercolor paper i've been using uh, a lot of canson watercolor paper because i know it goes really good with ink i use a lot of 100 percent cotton watercolor paper for most of my watercolor work but i use i've been using the canson because i know that not everything i do is going to be watercolor but most of it is but anyway i use the master's touch watercolor paper which i've never used i guess it's hobby lobby brands but anyway that aside i really like it i really like the texture i don't know if it'll show up on camera but the texture that this paper has compared to the canson is is really cool but anyway getting off topic day 19 was sling and i drew you know this girl with a sling bandaged up she's giving you the, the fist just power but uh she's also got an eye patch i don't know what happened there eye infection she might have lost an eye but that was day 19 sling i just I had a lot of fun drawing this one but i will admit it wasn't very creative or revolutionary but i did get it done and i have to admit day 20 tread I tried and tried. My original plan was to draw a tank, and I don't know, maybe I should have inked the tank. Looking back, none of my pictures of tanks were that bad, but I'm really, I don't know. To be perfectly honest, I'm not too proud of this one. It's uh, just a pair of boots. You know, I guess boots have tread on the bottom, like the sole of the boots. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's definitely not one of my favorite pieces. One of my favorite parts of it, though, is this gold ink. Which I also use that Master's Touch watercolor paper here. I think you can actually see the, the pattern a little bit more on this one. But that gold ink and that silver ink for the clasps, they're probably my favorite part of this whole piece, which isn't saying a whole lot because, like I said, I'm not, I'm, I hate to down my own art and I'm not one of those people, you know. I, I believe there's value in any art, even this not so great piece of art here, you know. It, it helped me improve, it taught me, it taught me not what not to do for, <laughs> for the prompt tread. But that is days 10 through 20. Sorry, had to edit in the ending there as I screwed up the original being myself. But thank you, this is Ricky from Faceless Man Arts. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for our part three, which I'm really hoping to air on Halloween day the 31st, right after I finish the prompt if everything goes according to plan.
thank you all very much. It's been a pleasure. See you next time.